Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We've got a uh, rescue operation happening here. We've got uh, Bradford with Bladestorm Blademaster. We've got uh, Campbell with Return and Squad, so which I guess kind of weird. Uh, we've got Lewis with Remote Hacking and Medical Protocol. And then Hernandez, uh, Total Combat so we can throw a grenade. No longer ending the turn. We've got Reflex, so when fired upon we get extra actions next turn. And then Marauder, so standard shots are not turn ending, we shoot twice. And then Nikita Betty with uh, Perry is the newest addition there. So I said we were going to try and rescue civilians where we can. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Let me see if I can spot anything. Actually, it's kind of a weird move. That's okay. That was not the intention. Moving to designated coordinates. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Okay. Come on over, boys. This is not amazing. Can I hit... I don't think I'm hitting... Oh, I can actually get both. Which is pretty good value, but I have to figure out a way of dealing with this guy first. Um, if I were to grapple... Hold on. This says we would have vision right here. I don't know if we see it without mods on this preview. Oh, it actually does show. Changing position. We could also go for the justice pull here. It's 100%. Why don't we do that? Well, because this way we get two shots. If it hits, then we probably take another one. If not, maybe then we grapple at that point. Ooh, with the burning. Okay. So he's dead. Which is actually even better than what we could have come up with. I don't really want to bring that purifier right next to us, so I don't have to. The choice is made. That was a bit of a whiff. Sorry, had a uh, Discord notification to get rid of. My bad. I'm very professional. Okay, so this guy's dead. This guy is exposed, but we can do this to expose two of them and get some spread damage here. Oh, beautiful, the four. Okay, okay, okay. Onward. Come in this way. Maybe get to take out the captain. Not feeling super good about it. Nope. With good reason, it seems. And then Bradford, do we just sit up here? I do have Lewis. This does not give me vision of the captain. I can get it from here. That's affirmative. Come on now. Nice, 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 nice. So we just have this flamethrower to deal with, which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is just get in closer for next time. He's using the grenade! Damn it! You never think about the grenade from these guys. But well played. Well played. I'll give you that. Damn. Okay, so we've got a priest down there. 
a mech, sectoid, and another flamethrower. Now, I, do they take the extra damage from this burning, too? I bet they do. Okay, they don't. So that would be pretty broken. Let's bring Lewis over here. Let's deal with this guy. What are our shots from Hernandez like? Pretty okay. Might be able to do it. I am almost out of ammunition. Yeah, nice. Service is open. Need ammo. So we'll get the repairs here. I wanted to move because sometimes this residual fire can, like, they'll re-catch. And that's bad news bears if that happens. This is so risky going way out here, but we can set up to catch them next time. I'm gonna stay here just in case. Always gotta be mindful that they could be faceless. Oh, they just have a plethora of civilians down there. Isn't that great? Surprisingly enough, it wasn't the chrysalids this time. At least, not right off the bat. Advent was in town, and they seemed to be having some trouble with the bugs, too. We also had a few civilians to contend with. The whole situation was a mess. I am reloading. I'm going. Ah, damn it. <laughs> the first one. The first one. Are you for real? If this hits, then the blade storm's a kill. All right, she got the five. Roger that. Come on, hustle. And we can also grab this one back here. Moving to designated position. So there's still possibly one other faceless out there that we're going to have to watch for, but... These guys were pretty far. As you order. Got it covered. I think we just wait. I'll maintain my watch. Okay, so there's the third group. Or is that... It's the same makeup as the other group, I think. during your travels, but I haven't reached your local town, camp, settlement, or shanty, <laughs> what, whatever your situation. Don't worry. I'm putting up new relays just as quick as I can. Someday soon, nice. there will be no escaping the sound of my golden voice. We've got two more right here. We've got one up top. I think we try and grab that. Oh, we could maybe get it now. Headed there now. Okay, so we have our six in view. Our five and six, unless one's a faceless, which is possible. Super possible. We check this backside. Keep roadkill there for now. 
start moving in Hernandez. We'll take the full cover here. Do we have anything going on inside? Not really. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Maintaining this area. I'll get some. Fighting across this bridge is going to be really difficult for us, actually. By now, you might be asking yourself, Central, if you didn't want to listen to the DJ, why not just shut off your radio? And you'd be right to ask. You see, the problem was, the stronger his signal got, the more it interfered with our comm link. We could either go completely radio silent, or put up with him for a bit longer. Okay. I mean, if I put Bradford down here, we're definitely going to trigger that group. Which isn't a bad thing, but... It's getting a little bit unwieldy. Already there. And if we trigger here... And this is a faceless, and we're in a lot of trouble. As you order. I comply. Uh oh. Well, we got him now. This is unfortunate. Extremely. I think we're going to aid protocol on Harbinger. I could triple grenade if we need to, which maybe isn't terrible. Oh, actually, well, yeah, no, with Lobo, we could get her in here and throw a grenade. I think we have to go aggressive. I'm more worried about these two, actually. Impact detonation. Harbinger can only hit this one. Bradford could hit more. Hmm. I really don't like this. I'm less worried about the flamethrower guy. But this is gonna be the best that we got now. Maybe I should have gone on him to hopefully get the explosion. God. Yeah, we're in a tough one, tough spot here for sure. I could overwatch, hoping for something to move forward, but this guy's likely going to blast her out of this tree, hitting both of them. I'm going to aid protocol up top, because if they take down the treehouse... Yeah, this is, a, this is a really bad spot. Potentially lose a couple people here. Or... You know, if he does mind control us, at least temporarily, that might be the safest bet. Let's see what he ends up doing. Oh, they don't care. They're not discriminating at all.
Yikes! I think we're seeing some fatalities here. Oh. These these flame fire. things miss way too much. He's gonna stasis. Huh. Oh my god. I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with all of this. Cause isn't there still another group behind that truck over there too? Oh wow, they're just not done. Does anyone else notice a sudden uptick in big mean alien bugs running around? Nasty white ones with razor sharp talons? No? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that'd be crazy, right? No, I'm, I'm probably just seeing things. That's, uh, yeah. Well, keep your eyes peeled just in case, though. Okay? Man. We managed to save a few of the civilians before the chrysalids got to them. It's possible this would if this hits, we could get the explosion. That's the Ren damage. Man. Two to three. Wait, what does she have? She has parry. Which, if we attack with the Ren, we kind of have, like, the untouchable situation going on. Because there's so many of them, it's still a problem. Hmm. Moving. And we, they still have the mind control. I can't believe this doesn't see this group. My god. I wonder if we kill the priest. I don't think it will matter, actually. The mech is now shooting, so it's like... You will pay the price. His overall power is less scary, but there's so many shots. Fifty-seven. It's our best chance. Ooh, nice, nice. It's down. We uh we're definitely gonna lose somebody here. We do have the parry. We have uh we have Blade Storm. Bringing back zombies. Come on, there it is. Don't miss. Take it care of. Oh, please don't blow up the flamethrower. Yikes, John. Okay, that flamethrower is broken, man. Just never hits. Did he just... That's a faceless, isn't it? Oh, oh no, it's not. <laughs> okay, I've never seen that before. For obvious reasons. Starting to get cooked. I mean, on the plus side, we didn't have a clue where he was everyone's alive. For, all we knew, he for now. Thousands of miles away. That was a big, 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 big,
he thought he saw. It was possible that these white chrysalids were all over the world, but it seemed a lot more likely that the DJ was somewhere close by. Oh man, it'd be so nice to get there. I think we go for the... Here, first thing we do... We have to figure out a way to A, blow up this guy, and hope that he doesn't blow up, in theory. How much volt can we do? Two to five? Two to five. I can rend him, but if he explodes, we're dead. Agreed. Nessie can't see him. We could move to make it happen. But we're foregoing a lot of extra damage. Because so I would like to get the parry kill, but it if we can kill him, it's not as big of a deal. I hope he's far enough away from Bradford. I could move Bradford just a little bit and then still go in with the sword. On my way. Okay, come on now. You won't escape my mod. Nice. You would question our power. No explosion. Now, if I put, if I do put Bradford here, this guy lives. Um, and it's not like I have untouchable. Sixty-two. And then I've got our own guy in the back lines just hammering us. I almost wonder, I probably should have sent someone back here. But we needed a path cleared. And I guess if he would have blown up, I don't know if we were too close. A couple of ways that could have went down, I suppose. But I'm sitting here exposed, and I'm definitely going to get shot at. Which is a bit of a worry. Unless I go down here... I have this side cover. He could still flank, but that might be our best bet. And then hopefully we blade storm those two and they don't go on the other. I think I'm going to run. And like hunker down. Hopefully he targets somebody else. If I can break vision, even better. Not looking good. We could take this. Yeah, you know what? We gotta try and kill him. One. Still up. Could use some ammo over here. Should have just done this so that I could hunker, but felt like if she got this shot, then we had the one in the sectoid for it's some dying. big damage. We've got most of the civilians over here too, so. In terms of targets, pretty low. Oh, he had to reload. Okay. Oh, sh we're definitely losing Lewis. I'm not... This group I think we can deal with if we can salvage this. I really hope the Chrysler goes on him and doesn't jump, but... 
Okay, nice. It's not getting up. We're likely taking that burn damage over here. Yeah, toast. Damn it. Goodbye, Lewis. Got Hernandez back. Now, the question is... Was this group the same as the one that we saw bouncing back and forth here? Because I'm thinking maybe not. And if that's the case, holy moly. Are we ever in trouble? A focus strike of power. Very nice. No one will shed a tear. So I'm gonna hope that we know where that last group is, and that's this one back here. That's affirmative. We do have one casualty, but all things considered. I must run. I think it could have gone a hell of a lot worse, as long as we can stop this last group. Scanning. Now, of course, we can we can blade storm For the, cause. Uh, the chrysalids. But the muton is going to be a problem. We've got AP rounds on our sniper, at least. The DJ may have been off his rocker, but I had to give him a little credit. I mean, the guy was out there building his own radio network. Half the time, we could barely find recruits who knew how to turn on a radio. My I think rock. best case scenario is that they walk into us uh, in an Overwatch to start. Oh, maybe this is it. We're only gonna get two shots, though. Okay. <laughs> best case scenario has occurred. And uh, no benefit to us. If we just focus down this guy with Bradford in front, he can blade storm those three down. We have to get to him. I'd that like to is the challenge. Take this moment and thank our generous sponsor, Advent. Now, I know what you're thinking. Advent, screw those guys. And you'd be right. But hear me out. My little station wouldn't be here today without Advent's fancy relays in this. Big old mm. antenna. I feel like I this is not going to see him. <laughs> credit where credit is due and all that noise. Okay, so we've got the Volt for two to five guaranteed damage. We have Amplify, so he takes extra damage. And our shot with, uh, with Bradford's really good and the crit. Maybe that's the safer play. Although this does bounce. But I don't think it's going to matter. I'm going to amplify. Do you feel the power? Worth. Enemy down. Target neutralized. Now putting her up here doesn't feel so bad. Repositioning. Holy moly, boys. Come on now. Damn it. Okay, we just have to hope that we don't miss with Bradford here. Oh, it's a faceless too. Oh boy. This, out of both campaigns, I think this has been the hardest we mission that we've faced so far. Installations in that town. 
You wouldn't have guessed it was anything special from the looks of it, but it obviously worked. There were a few hints of alien technology, but nothing that seemed all that crazy. I should have known better. Uh, I do not want to take any chances here. That's big. I must have ammunition. If I can get Bradford in. Wait, what's the slash five? Yeah, here we go. It's at a hundred. Okay. That was crazy. We lost one, but man, could that have ever gone worse? Some of my people got a little too close out there, but we eventually pulled through. Yeah, I'm happy about that. And considering we have no grenadiers, so no explosives really, uh, I think the the misplay that I made at the beginning was I should have focused down that front flamethrower guy, even though in the end he didn't really hurt us. Uh, that one didn't. Um, we could have gotten an explosion, which could have weakened everybody else. And we should have probably focused those grenades on the front, too, instead of trying to get the mech. I was trying to avoid the rocket. So, anyways. First casualty. Feels alright. We pulled some gear from the workshop we found set up by the radio tower. Some Definitely take this. There, so the choice of what to haul out wasn't easy. I feel like when they give us a choice to replace or to just add a, another benefit, almost always we're going to side with just adding another benefit. Uh, so we're going to dodge on the Ranger, aim on the Sniper, uh, more movement on the Specialist, more movement on the Skirmisher, and dodge on the Templar. So I feel okay. Overcharge and Stun Strike. Don't use Stun Strike a lot, um, but we'll try to work that in. Shadow Strike is nice. Lightning Hands, okay. Unfortunately, we did lose Lewis. But here's our new soldier, our new specialist, just to replace him, and then uh, Hernandez. Now, some people may argue, and with good reason, that losing somebody, if you know you're going to gain more than what you lose in this mode, is not so bad, because they just get replaced and they get all the upgrades that would come with that. Um, but that's, that's a big hit for us. Oh, look we at that. We made our way further up the coast by boat while chasing the DJ's signal. From what we pieced together, he had been building his own radio network across the territories that were still free from advent control. Rigging stolen relays and antennas up and down the seaboard Step to get his message across, he had managed to stir something else up. <laughs> Whether it was the frequency or something in the equipment itself, the chrysalids loved the sound of his voice. To them, it was like the DJ had been ringing the <laughs> dinner bell in every town he visited. That's crazy. Now that we had a working theory as to what was attracting the chrysalids, all we had to do was go in and destroy all the equipment the DJ had already installed. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, it wasn't. The closer we got, the more trouble we found. Okay, so if we can get, like, squad sight vision on here, that'd be pretty nice. Uh, it's super far away, but we do have 10 turns, so wish me luck, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.